Hello and welcome back to another week in new genre books. I'm a person, you're a person. I like books, you like books. Let's get in the weeds and talk about it. And I mean get in the weeds in the academic sense of talking at length about a topic, rather than the restaurant sense of being in the weeds meaning there's too much work to do. But we know how that one feels too. My name is Amelia, and from Locus Magazine I'm about to tell you the top new science fiction, fantasy, and horror books being published the week of October 17th, 2023. In science fiction we have four new books to talk about. From the lovely Tobias S. Bacal, we have A Stranger in the Citadel, out from Tachyon Publications in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a post-apocalyptic science fiction novel with a fantasy feel, set in a world where reading and writing are forbidden. When the young musketrist Lilith saves an outcast librarian from immediate execution, her curiosity draws her to him. She lets slip her family's most dangerous secret, which I can only guess must have something to do with illegal books. From C.J. Cherry, we have Defiance out from DAW and hardcover in ebook. This is a science fiction novel, the 22nd in the Foreigner series. Bren Cameron is tasked with getting Elsidi, the IG Dowager, back to the capital alive. But the Shadow Guild will spend anything and everything to take Elsidi and Bren out. From Bethany Jacobs, we have These Burning Stars out from Orbit US in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a debut space opera science fiction novel set in a star empire. Occasional thief Jen Ironway uncovers proof that a powerful family was involved in a planet wide genocide. Insert your own punchline here about eating the rich. Two brutal clerics are sent to hunt her down. From Michael Momet, we have Generation Ship out from Harper Voyager US in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a science fiction novel, sometimes we call it SF for short. In 2108, colony ship Voyager departed Earth for the planet of Promesa with 18,000 of the world's best and brightest on board. 250 years and 27 light years later, arrival is imminent. But the probes that they've sent ahead aren't responding, so now they don't know if the planet is habitable. A group of crew members begins to rebel against the rules, and the governor decides a full-scale colonization effort is the only way to pull the Voyager citizens together. Nothing can possibly go wrong, right? In horror, we have one new title to talk about. From Erica Waters, we have All That Consumes Us, out from Harper Teen and hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult gothic dark academia novel. Tara gets a chance to join Magna Viri, an elite academic society at her college, but once she's settled into their gorgeous Victorian dormitory, strange things start to happen. She's finally writing, but her stories are dark and twisted. Her dreams feel as if they could bury her alive, and an unseen presence seems to stalk her through the halls. In fantasy, we have eight new titles this week. From Deborah A. Baker, we have Under the Smoke Strewn Sky, out from Tor.com in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a fantasy novel, the fourth book in the Up and Under series, begun in Over the Woodward Wall, the book within a book from Middle Game by Sean and McGuire. Since stumbling from their world into the Up and Under, Avery and Zip have walked their improbable road across forests, seas, and skies, finding friends in the unlikeliest of places and maybe more enemies as they make their way toward the impossible city in the hope of finding their way home. From Sarah Davis Goff, we have Silent City, out from Flatiron and hardcover in ebook. This is a fantasy novel. A plague has overrun Ireland, where a bite from the scrake means death or infection. Phoenix City is a safe refuge where the Banshees, a fierce all-woman group of fighters, follows the dictates of the city's oppressive rulers. When two women are publicly executed, Orpin knows she must make a choice between guaranteed survival within a cruel society or the dangers of freedom beyond the walls. Which of course reminds me of the Ursula K. Le Guin story, The Ones Who Walk Away from Omelas, which backwards Omelas is Salem, Oregon, you knew that because Le Guin was clever like that. Oh, to live in a world where the morally terrible choice is at least a simple one. From Alison Epstein, we have Let the Dead Bury the Dead, out from Doubleday in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a historical fantasy novel set in 1812 St. Petersburg with elements of Russian fairy tales. Sasha, returning after the war with Napoleon to his lover, Grand Duke Felix, finds a mysterious woman in the snow who might not be human and definitely has dangerous revolutionary leanings. Which, this is me being pedantic again, okay. So when we use the language that revolutions are dangerous, yeah, that sounds pretty obvious, but the construction sort of implies that not getting it together to have a revolution is somehow safe. This is a linguistic problem, I think. It's really a problem of how we define safety and danger, because governments rise and fall, that's just how history works. 
From Rachel Gillig, we have two twisted crowns out from Orbit US in trade paperback ebook and audio. This is a gothic fantasy novel, the second book in the Shepherd King series. Kingdom is in bad shape. Elspeth and Raven have gathered most of the 12 Providence cards, but the last and most important one remains to be found, the Twin Alders. If they're gonna find the card before Solstice and set free the kingdom, they will need to journey through the dangerous Mistcloak Forest. The only one who can lead them through is the monster that shares Elspeth's head, the Nightmare. And he's not really trying to share any longer. From Rati Mehrotra, we have Flower and Thorn, out from Wednesday Books in hardcover and ebook. This is a young adult fantasy novel inspired by medieval India. 17-year-old Irinya uses her knowledge of magical flowers to help her caravan survive in the harsh desert. When her handsome hunting partner and childhood friend finds a priceless silver spider lily said to be able to tear down kingdoms and defeat entire armies, Irinya knows this is their chance for a better life, but then Things get out of hand, like literally she loses the priceless flower in a series of events I can't really get into, and she's got to get it back. From Alex Schwarzman, we have Cacistocracy, out from Kasich SF and Fantasy in trade paperback and ebook. This is an urban fantasy novel, the second in the Conrad vs. Chronicles series, begun in The Middling Affliction, about wisecracking P.I. slash monster hunter Conrad Brent, who hides the fact that he has only middling powers while he protects the people of Brooklyn, New York from monsters and magic. Middling powers sounds reasonably effective. We're all about self-acceptance here. If you got it, flaunt it. From Sherwood Smith, we have Antiphony, self-published in trade paperback, hardcover, and ebook. This is a military fantasy novel, the final book in the Santoria Stella series begun with Inda. Lier has attained the home she always longed for, though there are compromises. Her children are scattered through the world, and she scarcely has time to adjust to her new life before she must use her deer to prevent war. From Adrienne Young, we have The Unmaking of June Pharaoh, out from Delacorte in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a fantasy thriller novel. It's been a year since June Pharaoh started seeing and hearing things that weren't there. Faint wind chimes, a voice calling her name, and a mysterious door appearing out of nowhere. Signs of what June always knew was coming. For generations, the women of her family have been cursed to go mad. But when June investigates her mother's disappearance, she realizes the door she assumed was a hallucination might not be. So what happens when she just walks into this door? In anthologies and collections, we have four titles. From Annie Carl, we have Soul Jar, out from Forest Avenue Press in trade paperback and ebook. This is an original anthology of 31 stories for reprints by authors with disabilities, including Adam Fout, Paul Jessup, Nisi Shawl, and Don Vogel. Forward by Nicola Griffith, who also provides a reprint story. From Paula Garan, we have The Year's Best Dark Fantasy and Horror, Volume 4, out from Peer in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a year's best anthology with stories from 2022, the fourth volume in the series from Peer, after 10 from Prime. Authors include Gemma Files, Alex E. Harrow, Stephen Graham Jones, Cassandra Kaw, Eden Royce, Fran Wilde, A.C. Wise, and more. From RF and Adams Kwang, we have The Best American Science Fiction and Fantasy 2023 out from Mariner in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a best of the year anthology with stories from 2022 by authors including Nathan Ballingrud, Isabel Cañas, Shingari Jerry Kagunda, Isabel J. Kim, Sophia Samatar, and Chris Wilrich. Authors provide notes on their stories with their biographies. Introduction by Quang, forward by series editor John Joseph Adams, who also provides a list of additional notable stories. From Angela Slatter, we have The Wrong Girl and Other Warnings, out from Brain Jar Press and trade paperback and ebook. This is a collection of 12 stories showing us that innocent should never be mistaken for safe, with tales of witches, Victorian-era detectives, bad parents, unrepentant killers, and ancient wisdom. That wraps up this week. Thanks for spending some time with us. At Locus, we set out to try to tell you about everything going on in the science fiction fantasy horror publishing space. I am not above asking you to like this video. I could be quite firm in my tone if you'd respond better to that. Please like and subscribe, and maybe tell a friend about this channel. There's way too many books for any one person to read all of them, but at least you won't miss stuff if you know what's out there. Locus Magazine and the Locus YouTube channel are a labor of love. We are at Locus Mag or at Locus Magazine on most platforms. You can read more about the science fiction, fantasy, and horror field over at www.locusmag.com or support us on our Patreon. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Come back and see us again soon, and we'll be here next week with more new books.